Hundreds of Queenslanders seeking mental health support due to the coronavirus pandemic are on waiting lists up to three months long to see a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Beyond Blue says demand for its services has skyrocketed up to 60% since March, while Kids Helpline has reported a 24% increase. Doctors say they're dealing with a tsunami of mental health presentations. Anna Alexandria had been on top of her anxiety disorder at the start of the year, but when the coronavirus pandemic hit, new stresses began to take root. The life uncertainty side of things. So, like, I'm completely out of work and unable to pretty much work at all at the moment. As a returning client, she was able to see a specialist within a few weeks, but when a relative needed help, she was told it could take until the new year. I would say I rang between 15 to 20 different psychiatrists and psychologists trying to get an appointment for a family member to really no avail. Her loved one was able to see a psychiatrist but only because they agreed to after-hours sessions. In Logan, the wait to see a psychologist is up to three months long. It's detrimental to their mental health. You know, and that then puts pressure back on your lifeline beyond blue, um, your community mental health and your hospital mental health. Doctors say they're under increasing pressure as they look after patients for longer while they wait. The numbers are massive and that's why I called it a tsunami of mental health presentations to the point where we're seeing a third more presentations, so 30% increase. Dr Maria Bolton says the Medicare rebate needs to be increased to cover costs for GPs and so patients aren't paying high out-of-pocket expenses. And unfortunately Medicare doesn't really fund us to provide long consultations and some of the time the patients are needing to pay a gap. She says patients would also benefit from an additional 10 mental health sessions. In Victoria, Patients have access to 20 sessions, um, subsidised sessions to see their psychologist. I would like to see that rolled out nationwide. The federal government has committed more than $16 billion to the COVID-19 health response and will continue to subsidise telehealth services for mental health until the end of March next year. But GPs and specialists say telehealth doesn't address the issues with demand and that they need to be better funded. Rachel Riga, ABC News, Brisbane.